So we want to start out by putting a little water here. Dry that off. There's no puddle. It's just damp. We're looking for just damp. Wet our piece. Start our wheel. A little bit on the faster RPMs here to start with. Press down and together. Up. Trim off that little bottom, come down, come up, come down, next, what we're going to do, at it centered, we're going to take our thumb, a little bit of water here, indentate, you can feel it, that's where it's centered. Next stage, come down, put your hole in, find out where you are down at the bottom, you've got to stop the wheel to use the pin tool, place your finger on top of the clay, we're about three-eighths of an inch, we're pretty good there. We're going to open this up now some more, this time we're slowing the wheel down a little bit. We don't need our wheel going fast anymore because the centrifugal force helped us center already. So we want to slow our wheel down on each process that we use going up. And so the next step here is to pull the wall up. So I'll come around the side of the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. Going to remember, I'm compressing that base down here. That's one of the things you have to do is compress your bottom. Um, and you can't do that too much, let me tell you. But it will compress the bottom. When you compress the bottom, it will help with any S cracks that you might have. If you're having S cracks, that's probably the reason why. Now we're going to do our first pull. I'm trying to Press the top rim, top lip right there. Okay, that's the first pull, making sure that we're not flaring out, or we can flare in, it's fine, but we don't want to flare out, because it's really hard to get it back together if you're going to want to make a cylinder of some type. Okay, the next step here, I'm using the slurry from the piece here to water my piece, make sure I have no sticky areas. Now I'm going to just do a little three-point compression, we've talked about that, the three-point compression, come up and over. Okay, now you can do another pull. So I'm, I'm getting down as far as I can there. As you can see, I'm flaring out at the top. So I've got to loosen it down. Pull that back together. Pull that back up. I don't want to flare it right now. Flaring is a decoration move. The first move is making a cylinder. Okay. Now that we have that, I'm going to take that nice little slurry right there. I'm going to get that all on the inside of my piece so that I'm not dragging. That's probably the biggest problem is when you're dragging inside your piece and then that makes the pot unbalanced. Okay, with that said, I'm going to come up again and straighten it out one last time. I'm going to compress that lid, compress, compress the lip. See it's nice and compressed there. And now we can do another move here. So I can do another pull. At this point, I'm going to use my whole finger so I can have it resting on there. Try to figure out where I'm at here. Again, I told you the wheel is going a little bit fast. As we move and get thinner walls, we need to slow down our speed. Uh, the problem is I'm trying to sit in front of the camera for you guys. So I'm not controlling my speed. 
and I need to do that right now because otherwise I'm going to flare this thing all over the room here in a minute. Okay, that said, I'm going to come down here and grab that excess clay off the bottom and now we can decide what to do with this thing. Now that we have the cylinder, we can figure out if we wanted to turn it into a bowl or a close off the top, um, make it into a pitcher. Maybe that would be a good idea. So let's try another pitcher here. Uh, the pitcher we got to think about because we don't want it too heavy. Right? Otherwise nobody will use it. What I found out that is if it doesn't have the right weight, you won't use it for what you want. You could have a 20 pound, nice, beautiful cereal bowl, but you're not gonna use it because it's just too heavy for you. So that's where the practice of coming in with thin walls comes into place. Now, what I'm going to do is use the sponge to push out the base of this wall here. I'm watching it right here, and I want to pull out that base. Now, at this point, I'm just shaping from the inside to match what I'm looking at here on the outside from my angle. I'm looking that way, and you're looking at it from the completely opposite angle. What I want to do at this point, and we're going a little fast again, slow the wheel down just a little bit. What I want to do is I want to cut some of this excess clay off. When I get that, you can see, I'm trying to show you. Once I have that, and I'm down on the mat bat. Now I'm down on the bat, and I'm just gonna start slowly pulling out. Just slowly pulling out. So I can see the bat, and I can see where I need to actually cut it. All right, now I can see, so I can cut this all off and get rid of this little stuff. Okay, that gives me a nice contour down here to work with and now I can expand out more. If I expand it out before, I'd have a hard time making that cut. So what I'm gonna do now is kind of expand out this a little bit more. And then come up. So I didn't make a pitcher out of it. <laughs> I just made a some type of crock pot. So aesthetically it's kind of looking halfway decent there. And let's go for another one. 